meteorologist Eric Johnson with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, we have seen some pretty quiet weather in the mountains with uh, above that inversion layer, some sunshine and warm temperatures, but that is going to change over the next 36 hours or so. I'll show you that in a second, but just looking at yesterday, we saw that inversion layer lasting right through the day. We didn't really get much of a break from the fog and low clouds. Temperatures really only climbing to about 42 in Boise, and we actually may be a few degrees below that today into the upper 30s. We still are under the influence of high pressure, which is allowing that inversion to stay in place. We really just need a storm system or a cold front to move through, and we are going to see that which I'll show you in just one moment. But for your day planner today, continuing to see dense fog across the valley throughout the afternoon. We may get a little bit of a break like we saw yesterday for an hour or two, but really for the most part, looking at dense fog throughout a majority of the day. Now, if you get east of Mountain Home, we're going to see some sunshine peeking through for the late morning and early afternoon hours, and then that fog beginning to redevelop later in the evening. But that sunshine will allow those temperatures to climb into the lower 50s. It's going to be a very pleasant afternoon in the Magic Valley. And as we look through the rest of your Thursday, if we didn't have that low uh, cloud layer in the valley, we'd have a nice and sunny afternoon. And that's what we'll see up in the mountains. But then that cloud cover building on Friday ahead of a cold front, that wind is also going to start to turn a, pr a little bit gusty, which is what's going to help to clear out that fog, that fog and some of that low cloud cover. Now that cold front moving through right around dinner time, we could see some wind gusts up to around 30 miles per hour in the valley and a couple of rain showers moving through, not looking like we'll really see that precipitation sticking around long enough for a change over to snow as we see colder air moving in Saturday morning. Most of us actually drying out by Saturday morning, so travel plans will be in pretty good shape for the weekend. Friday night, you may run into some of that high elevation snow. It could be a quick inch or two up in the mountains, but really nothing too impressive for us uh, leading up to the holiday. But again, today, just a cool day in the valley. Temperatures in the upper 30s, actually right around average and we will see that dense fog continuing. And that will also be the case in Long Valley and up into the upper Weezer River Basin. But then we do get uh, partly cloudy skies for the afternoon. Idaho City up to 48 today, a pretty comfortable afternoon there. Uh, and into the Wood River Valley, we're continuing this stretch of very pleasant weather, low to mid 40s, up to 44 today in Haley. And for the Magic Valley, I think we get in on some sunshine, much like yesterday, and 53 in Gooding today, a very comfortable afternoon there. And as we look through the rest of the uh, extended forecast, those temperatures cooling off a few degrees into the weekend, but really not noticing it all too much. Uh, but it is going to be pretty gusty on Saturday, so feeling more like the 20s. And then Christmas Day, about 38 degrees. It's going to be pretty pleasant. We stay dry and then some shower chances.